Ever since we came to the cottage from London all those years ago, Black Beauty has been part of our lives. We all wrote him. I did as often as I could. And Father. And Kevin, before he went to sea. Everyone except Amy, of course. She was like a second mother to us. It's a pity Victoria didn't have someone when her own mother died far away in the colonies. But then they both wouldn't have come back to England. And I wouldn't have been swept off my feet. I wonder who's more nervous now, Victoria or myself? <laughs> Dr. Gordon, hmm? did you ever think Jenny would marry with a 12-year-old daughter as bridesmaid? A <laughs> stepdaughter, if you don't mind. Oh, I do hope I can be a mother to her. Could the trap be harnessed? I might just go and get her now. Now? As soon as she's out of the old boy's clutches, the better. I thought she was enjoying herself. Uh, Lord Fordham's making very sure of that. <laughs> it was all in her last letter. Must we go back to New Zealand quite so soon, Father? We'll go by the lake track. I'll get beauty harnessed. Black beauty. Victoria loves horses, doesn't she? Yes. Then it's time they met. Well, not in the colonies now, Victoria. This is how a young lady rides. I think this is how a young lady falls off. Nonsense. Master, this will have you riding to hounds in no time. Hmm? Well, the procedure is very simple. But sit. Your right leg over. Oh. Well, that's something I never expected to see. Father! When did you get back? Today. Didn't you get my telegram? Yes. I must have got the date wrong. Well, it's lucky I came when I did then. Vicky would have been over the hills and far away. I wouldn't have got very far dressed like this, Grandfather. Well, you've got about half an hour to try. Your father and I have some business to discuss. Yes. Half an hour, Vicky. Can I ride your horse, Father? He's a beauty. He's black beauty. Jenny's horse. And therefore, part of our new family. So I can ride him? You'll have to ask Jenny. Anyway, you're not exactly dressed for it. You ought to be careful going about like that. What do you mean? Well, someone might mistake you for a young lady. Oh. You really are a black beauty. The whole thing did happen rather suddenly, Nigel. She hasn't come to terms with having a stepmother. It was rather a whirlwind courtship. That's Jenny. Swept me off my feet. And Vicky's seen precious little of you these last two years. Well, I know you've had your studies in London. She's been at boarding school, sir. Or travelling with you. Victoria likes Italy. But did her mother. They were so very alike. I want what's best for her. I know what's best for her. Could you settle up my father's horse, please? And not side saddle. Vicky's been used to a free and independent life, sir. That's why she had to be removed from her first school. All this colonial spirit. She'll be happier at home. This is her home. I meant her colonial home, sir. Have you asked her if she wants to return? With respect, sir, have you? Victoria is my sole heir. She'll be very wealthy. She must understand her place in society. That's what her mother would have wished. Her mother made the decision to emigrate with me, sir. Perhaps if she hadn't. Victoria will grow up here in her mother's house, not on some small holding on the edge of nowhere. What are her chances there? She'll make her own. 
as did Sarah. A farm, moreover, in need of capital development. Which you offered, sir. Yes, I did. Subject to an agreement. <laughs> Miss Victoria. What are you putting those things down for? Because, ma'am, the head gamekeeper told me to. Aren't they illegal? Lord Fordham's the law around here, Miss Victoria. Miss Vicky. Seth, were you after my grandfather's trout again? Uh, no, I was washing my arms. I don't like the taste of trout no more. Are you taking that one home for a pet? I gotta feed me kids. And work's hard to find. Thanks, Miss Vic. One of the underkeepers is setting traps by the lakeside. I'll keep well clear of him. Somebody caught a deer the other night. Grandfather's furious. It wasn't you, I hope. It's a bit too big for my pocket, Missy. Go on, before Barrett comes this way. And be careful. Thanks, Missy. brought her to heel. Yes, yes. This morning, proper riding habit, side saddle, the very picture of a young English gentlewoman on black beauty. Father! One of your underkeepers has been shot! No, it's nothing serious. It'll be stiff for a day or two. I'll dress it again tomorrow. Thank you, Doctor. I saw him, my lord, with the fish. He whipped out his gun and took a shot. It was plain murder. And that's what you'll be charged with. Attempted murder. The shot came near you, Mr. Barrow. I never saw no gun. I never had one. Grandfather, I met Seth earlier. He didn't have a gun. I saw him with it, my lord. No! Summon the constable. But, Grandfather, he didn't... Please keep out of this, Grandfather? This doesn't concern you. Vicky? Pay on. Just 
down the path with me. He couldn't have come this far in such a short time. Ooh. Watch out for those traps. Oh, I know where they are. You know, I met Seth here on my first day. He showed me badges, foxes, and otter. All the animals I'd never seen before. I don't think Barrett saw who did it. And they've arrested Seth. And Grandfather wouldn't even listen to me. Your Grandfather is bound by his position, Vicky. Oh, yes, he gives you everything you want. But he's still Lord Fordham. That's not fair. And these things wouldn't be allowed in New Zealand. That's one of the reasons your mother and I chose to go there. That's where our home is where you and I and Jenny belong. Of course, you can stay with your grandfather. It's your decision. Grandfather's been very good to me, and he is lonely. But is that enough reason to stay? I'm just a bit confused. A bit willful, a bit spoiled, a bit of a scamp. <laughs> Next time you want to ride Beauty, ask Jenny. He's a lovely horse. Victoria, I brought back a little memento of our honeymoon in Scotland for you. Thank you. It's a brooch to pin a shawl with. An old Caledonian design. Perhaps I could call you Vicky. I don't mind, Victoria. May I be excused? Of course. Lord Fordham's turning her into a spoiled little brat. She's nothing of the sort. Oh, you men. She's confused, bewildered, and not a little frightened. And now she's having to come to terms with a new stepmother. Headstrong, a bit madcap, and going her own way and getting into all sorts of uh, misadventures and tomfoolery when she does. That's Vicky. He wasn't talking about Vicky. Excuse me. Was she really as bad as that? Worse. You'd much rather ride beauty than have some silly old brooch, wouldn't you? Oh, yes, I... I mean, no, the brooch is lovely. What do you think of beauty? He's magnificent. He's been part of my life almost longer than I can remember. We belong together. Is that why you became a vet? Partly. I'd love a horse like beauty. Grandfather's looking for that gun. I've got some important business to discuss with your grandfather tonight, Vicky. Please don't upset him. All right, Father. But he is wrong about Seth. Hold on. Seth didn't shoot you. I've said all I'm going to, miss. He's a poacher. We're losing too much game. And you haven't caught anyone. That's why you're picking on him, isn't it? Who did shoot you? All right, Vicky. How's the arm, Barrett? Right enough, sir. Good. Come along. There's no use talking to him. He'll close up like an oyster. There is something wrong. And remember what I told you. Nothing on the subject of Seth Cradden over dinner. No, Father. Or after dinner. No, Father. Or before dinner. Father, of course not. What do you take me for? A stubborn, self-willed, outspoken, independent young madam. But perhaps Victoria 
Victoria might like to come with me on my rounds tomorrow morning. Yours is a very novel profession for a woman. Oh, there are plenty of professional women in the colonies. Isn't that so, Vicky? I believe some occupations unsex a lady. Strange how they never seem to unsex a gentleman. But that is the order of society. Your work must necessitate long hours. Yes, it does. And yours, Nigel. Of course. But where does that leave Victoria? May I please go to bed? I'm tired. Of course, my dear. Good night, Grandfather. Good night, my dear. Father, perhaps I could see Victoria to her room. As you wish. I simply had to get out of the room. So did I. The order of society, indeed. Why don't we go for a good long ride tomorrow? You can ride beauty. I'd love to. I want to be a friend, Victoria, not just a stepmother. Thank you. Jenny. Jenny. Mind you, beauty isn't an easy horse to manage. Perhaps you ought to try a pony first. I haven't been on a pony since I was ten. Of course I can... Five minutes after I met your father, he was telling me all about you and your horses. I'll advance the finance you need, Nigel, but I insist Victoria remain here. After all, I am the trustee of her mother's legacy. Hmm? Good night. Good night. Jenny. Hello, Mr. Barrett. I've already found what you're looking for. What? Hey? What are you talking about, Miss Vicky? You were so quick to blame Seth Cradden. And the gun had to be somewhere. Hey? I'm taking this to Grandfather. No, please, Miss now. Vicky. All right. I'll wait till morning. But you be long gone.
appears Barrett was poaching my deer, using my traps. So all he had to do was to walk up to the poor animals. Mm. Must have gone off when he was loading it, by accident. Yes, and he hid it in the one place your men would never have looked, Grandfather. You should have come to me. You should have come to me. Would either of you have listened? Hmm? Grandfather, hmm? why don't you make Seth Cran the new underkeeper? <laughs> It'd be a good step up for him. And you'd cut down on the poaching, too. Perhaps I should give you the job. Grandfather would like you to look at his ankle. Ah, I do. Yes, if you would. I was walking by the lakeside this morning. And he grazed himself in a trap. <coughs> I'd be only too pleased. It's safe now. I threw them into the lake. You did what? <laughs> May I ask what's so confoundedly amusing? <laughs> Absolutely nothing, sir. Do get on with it. <laughs> I'll have the farm in tip-top shape when you arrive. The new land broken in, and a long list of chores for you both. God bless you. Goodbye. Couple of weeks. Goodbye. Don't forget to order my brass plate. <laughs> <laughs>